All right, so this is the start of the first door bolt for the shop. And I've got my friend Christopher here swinging a sledgehammer for me. It's his first time doing this, even though we've, we've been friends for a very long time. Um, anyway, so we've drawn this out of this bar of reclaimed wrought iron, came off of a friend's farm. And the next step is going to be to draw the spring for the bolt out. So it'll be one piece. The spring will be drawn out thin and then wrapped around and folded underneath the body of the bolt. And this is the door bolt that I'm, I'm drawing most of my inspiration for this one from. So right now we've just made this part here of the bolt and I'm shouldering in here to make this section and then we'll have a right angle and a nice curve to make. A little harder. All right, Christopher, sledgehammer. Now this you can hit pretty hard. So I'm actually on the third attempt on this bolt. Screwed it up twice this morning. Uh, this was the, the, the second attempt, and I got this area too thin, tried to upset it, Almost fixed it and then cracked it right here at this transition, which I was afraid of, but that's okay because on this third attempt, I'm able to do things um, that I learned on the first two. So, But this is going to be very cool if it works properly. <laughs> All right, here we go. Okay, I overdid it a little bit, but uh, it'll be all right. It took a lot less force than I expected. I need to decide how tall I want this thing. 
I would really like it about that high where I don't really have to bend over to operate it. So maybe this high at a minimum. I don't have a tape. Who needs a tape? Okay, so do you do you use calipers or dividers or compasses much in your cabinet making work? Yeah, Interior um, trim work, all that stuff. Yeah, I use a compass some, um, but I'm sure you've heard of a story pole. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. I use those a lot. Yeah, yeah. So the the double calipers are a fairly common blacksmith's tool, or used to be anyway. And it's just so you can hold two different measurements at the same time. Mm. So sometimes if I need to if I need to take a bar of iron down to a specific dimension, say I want it three eighths thick or half inch thick as the case may be, and an inch and a half wide, then this will hold the one measurement and this will hold the other. Okay, cool. It's really, really easy. Um, and then the reason, and, and, and I think it would be great to have it engraved on there, but I, I always mark mine with chalk because if I'm, if I'm holding two different measurements that are very similar but not the same, you know, say two and one eighth and two, right. then you automatically, just by a glance, you know which side is the lesser and which is the greater. But anyway. Also, I really like using uh, dividers to literally divide a measurement. And this works when I'm, when I'm looking at a drawing that's not full scale. Right. If I, have a, if I have a dimension and I know, well, this piece is supposed to be 15 inches long, then I can simply play with this on paper until, it's, until this is 15, until this makes up 15 um, steps across the drawing. And then it's a super easy thing to just scale uses to, to take any dimension from the draw. Right. You know what I mean? Right. Go. 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 Mm, making me nervous. I won't need you to close the vise after all. Possibly fumbled that more.
I think I cracked it. So here's where we got to on our door bolt. It was coming out beautifully. I got the um, knob forge welded on the end and uh, then because of the light was getting low, I worked it a little too cold. I knew better, but I broke the knob clean off. So actually it cracked and then, and then I noticed it and then took it the rest of the way off. But anyway, we will come back next week and finish this up. I'll forge weld this back on. I'm going to punch a hole through it, put it back on, forge weld it on. I'll have to cut a slot in it and uh, finish the handle of the bolt and then um, make the back plate and the staples and the bolt will be done. So that's a major disappointment, but I know what I did wrong and so I'll be able to be more careful next time.